What's up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at Highway Child by uh, Jimi Hendrix. I've had a few requests from you guys for this song, so here it is. I hope you like it. Um, it's pretty straightforward rock song, pretty cool to play. And um, the tablature is going to be available for purchase at uh, GuitarForce.com. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Uh, also, you can pick up a backing track totally free uh, to this song. And... Um, uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out my uh, Get Experienced uh, lesson, which is uh, concentrating on Jimi Hendrix's style of playing, it's a huge lesson, more than four hours, it's in two parts, and uh, there is a ton of information, you know, on Jimi Hendrix's style of playing. I suggest you, you check it out. The link is also going to be in the description box down below. Um, now, before we start breaking down this song, uh, I have to mention a few things regarding tuning. And it's a little bit tricky. As we all know, Jimi Hendrix used to, you know, tune his guitar mostly to half step down on all on all of his strings, and uh, he did it for this song as well. However, if you would like to play to the original recording, he tuned it down a even a little bit more. And uh, the way how you can achieve it is you can set your tuner if you have this option uh, to 432 hertz. Okay, so the standard. Um, concert pitches at 440 but for this song you tune down to 432 and you tune it down half step down on all the strings accordingly okay so that that way you're going to be able to play to the original uh, song which is recorded in stu uh, you know studio version however for this lesson I tuned down half uh, half step down on all the strings to the concert pitch okay so it's 440 um, on the tuner and tune it down half step down on all the strings. I know it might sound a little bit complicated but uh, you know that's the explanation. Um, regarding the sound I was using the same thing the VST plugin guitar rig and I'm gonna show you the picture of, of the preset right, right now and while you are checking it out I'm gonna play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so before we start the lesson, just want to mention one more thing, and that is if you would like to check out cover playthrough of this song, the link is going to be in the description box down below. Hopefully YouTube won't block it and you'll, you'll be able to check it out. Alright, so let's go for the close-up and start this lesson. Alright, so the intro consists of some unison bands, and uh, what we do here is we start off with uh, fretting the 10th fret on the B string and then bending the G string on the 12th fret up to the same pitch. So we have and adding some vibrato. So we play this first, then we move down one fret and we play three more times, and then two frets down to the seventh on the B9 on G, and uh, bending once. So we have this. And we play this figure for two times, Then we do the same trick, but we move up to the 14th frets on the B string and bend in 16 on the G. And we do same kind of thing. So we bend it once. Then we move down two frets here, so 12 on B and bend in 14. We do three bends here. And then we move down two more frets. And we are now 10 on B, 12 on the uh, G string and do it once. So we have and we play this figure also two times. Okay, so after that we go into the verses and verses basically consists of just playing two chords. The first one is an F sharp and we play that in a kind of um, swing feel so we have this kind of thing and uh, I'm also pressing on uh, with my left hand, with my fretting hand, the strings when I have to play it, okay? Uh, and like I said, we have a swing feel to it, so with your picking hand, you, you have to play in that feel. Uh, now, there are a couple of things that uh, Jimmy adds when playing uh, the verse, this chord, the F sharp. Uh, sometimes he throws in uh, the um, 
trill, which is uh, happening on the D string between second and fourth fret, like that. So he would play the chord, and in between uh, the rhythmical figure, he would just throw in this trill. Like that. Also, he would do an open low E string, hammer on to the second fret. Like that. Okay, so again, he would use his um, grip where he would use his thumb over the neck like that. So, you know, it's uh, easier to play it uh, like this, you know, that's hammer on from open to the second fret. Alright, so we play uh, the F sharp major chord here for a few bars, and then we go, we transition to another chord which is uh, D7 uh, sharp 9, which looks like this. So this is like typical Jimi Hendrix's uh, chord, and he would play basically the same thing rhythmically. So again. Alright. And then he goes back to the F sharp again. Then we have a transition, the next part, which is... So this is the first part. Now here we switch back to the standard eighth notes, so without the... Uh, swing feel and what we do here we play a double stop which is on the high E and the B strings fifth fret and then we alternate that with the hammer on on the B string to the seventh fret while at the same time the high E is fretted on the fifth fret so we have this that figure going on then we move up to this double stop and we play So, kind of same idea, but we're using obviously different double stops. So, this time we have on the G string 8th fret and 7 on the B string. And we simply alternate that with this double stop, which is 8 on uh, the G string and uh, 9 on the B string. And after we finish playing that, we get back to the intro. But we do only, the first time we do it kind of half, half of the intro, meaning that we just play these, um, these unison bands, which are in the beginning, just playing twice. And after that we get back to playing the verse again, so the same thing happens here in F-sharp uh, major chord. Same things uh, as we did earlier, then switching back to the, again, to the D7-sharp 9. Back to F-sharp. So basically just repeating the same thing. And then again we play this... Same, same things. And then after that, after the second verse, we have the intro, which is we play full intro. So again, with the. We play this figure for two times. And then we play this one. Okay, so after we've played the intro part, we then go right into the solo. And uh, instead of breaking it down into licks and phrases, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole solo slowly and uh, you'll be able to see in the tablature what I'm doing. Um, and uh, I just want to mention that the whole thing is based around the F sharp minor pentatonic and there is a lot of, you know, just these kind of licks. So instead of for me playing and uh, breaking down the solo into licks and phrases, like I said, you know, I'm going to just play the solo slowly and you'll be able to follow with the tab. So here we go.
Okay, so after the solo we get back to playing the verse and we go right into the D7 sharp 9 chord instead of F uh, sharp. So it's kind of halfway through the verse. Uh, like I said, we start playing on the D7 sharp 9 chord. Same thing. Same rhythmical patterns. Then we go to the F sharp. Same idea here. Then we go through the uh, double stops as well. Same thing, and then we play the intro, the full intro, so it's again two of these, right, and then two of these. So like the uh, full intro, exactly the same. After that we go into the outro chorus, and it consists of, um, it, it's based on the unison bends again, but this time we introduce the new one, which is happening here, on a high E string, 14 frets and we bend B string on the 17th fret. We play it once, then we have uh, just like we did uh, during the uh, intro second part, but um, it has we play two bends here on the B string uh, 14th fret, 16 on G, bending it up, to playing two times. Then we move down two frets, we play once move down two more frets and we play here once as well and we do it uh, uh, two times so we have this figure okay so once we've played this figure once uh, two times I'm sorry in the end of the second time we have um, uh, an F sharp major chord just introducing it like that so we have this figure Okay, so after we've played this once, we then alternate this bend, this figure with the high E string, we alternate it with the second part of the intro, which is... So we do the bend on, on the G string, 16 frets, uh, picking frets in the uh, B string on the 14th frets, and then we do three bends uh, down here, down, moving down two frets, just like in the, in, the, in the intro, so we have three bends here. So we alternate this second part of the intro with this new part now. Sorry. And also, after we play um, the second part of the intro and the new part, uh, after each time we introduce the uh, the F sharp major chord. Okay, so it would be like this. All right, so we play this part for two times, and then in the end, at the very end when the, the uh, song starts fading out, we have another one, which is just a, a little variation here, so it goes like this. So now we play this figure, starting with the band on the, high, uh, on the B string and uh, fretting the high E string on the 14th fret, so we play it once. Then we play this, uh, 14 on B and bending 16 on the G, two times. And then we get back to this first uh, unison bend and we play it two times. So we have this. And then we um, just play uh, the uh, second part of the intro, so which is here. But by this time the songs already fades out. And that's practically the whole song. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. 
Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. Also check out Get Experienced if you haven't had a chance. And uh, in the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy. And as always, let the force be with you.